Is tourism dead in Seattle? What a better way to find out than to perhaps check out what's happening here at Pike Place Market. I'll show you what's around here a little bit before I uh, enter the market. Straight ahead there looking south is Pioneer Square. If you saw my last video, uh, that's where I was, was in Pioneer Square. It's about a half a mile from here. That way there is West Lake, and if you keep going straight, that will take you to Capitol Hill. Capitol Hill is about a mile from here, a little over a mile. Anyway, rainy day in Seattle, what's new? I'm gonna enter the market through Post Alley here. I'm gonna show you all the different um, spots here of the market and just really just take a look at what the tour situation here is like. I did a video about, what is it, about uh, three months ago a Pike Place Market and it was really dead. It was really dead here at that time. So we're gonna see what it looks like here today. It's a busy time of the day here. It's close to lunch, so so there, uh, there's gonna be a lot of people here. So anyway, um, gonna go up now. So I'm going to show you the gum wall. I'm going to show you the main area of Pike Place Market. Show you how busy it is here or not busy it is here. We're going to find out together. And I'm going to go up this way here. All right, let's go up. Coffee shop there is a, it's a pretty good coffee shop. <laughs> talk about coffee shops a lot because you know why because I drink coffee all right well we're up here now that's where they throw fish there and one of the many pigs in Pike Place Market so this is what it looks like Pike Place Market today mid-July and yeah there's there's way more people here today than there was a few months ago so washington state well king county rather it depends what county you're in king county is currently in phase two of its uh, safe start safe start plan so businesses have, have opened partially open straight ahead there there's a view of the Puget Sound that sort of thing I'm going to take us down this corridor here where they sell flowers and things it's nice to see that the flower vendors are back they were gone for a long time there's going to be signs everywhere saying masks, face masks required. And that's because the Governor Inslee issued an order stating that if you don't wear a mask, you don't get, you don't get serviced. So no mask, no service policy is in effect here. I was, I was just taking a, just taking a stroll through the market. Some seafood. That looks good. Um, all right. I'm gonna keep going. Yeah. All 
sorts of fruits and vegetables here. these beautiful flowers some of the best value on flowers anywhere in my opinion so for a bouquet it's ten dollars for one of those these are twenty dollars Beautiful. All right. So besides the gum wall and uh, the main part of the market, which I just showed you where the sign is and everything, uh, I'm also going to see if the outdoor patio is open. And then maybe we'll go across the street to the park. We'll park across the street from uh, Pike Place Market here. Nice views from there. <laughs> Although today the views won't be so nice because it's it's super gray today. Pretty characteristic of Seattle. We'll see what it looks like later today. All right, let's keep walking northbound at Pike Place Market. Flowers, what are those? Those are interesting. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Tomatoes. Oh, I and cherry tomatoes. Alright, so I wonder if the downstairs shops, the shops in the lower level are open. Definitely was not open earlier. I was just here, what? I was here for lunch a couple of three weeks ago and it was not open. And some vendors have returned to this part of the market, it looks like. Yeah. More flowers here. And uh, handicrafts and things. That's what they sell in this area. Alright. $10 bouquets. Some logs, wow. Huh. All right, I'm going to take a left here to see if that um, the view deck or patio facing west, looking to the Puget Sound, is open, and it does not look like it's open. Wow. Yeah, it is closed. More pigs. Or, I see just one pig, but those pigs are... They're all over the city. Or the market, rather. That's too bad, it's, op uh, it's closed. Um, but this place, when it's open... Awesome views. It looks like the lower lower part of it is open. How about we go down there? Let's do that. Let's do that. Alright.
course looking to the waterfront okay so I mean you can get some views here this place is open the lower part of the the terrace here is open I'll walk you to the edge of this this uh, deck here no waterfront access all right I'm gonna do a waterfront um, tour at some point because uh, there's been a lot of changes here look at all that development there so this is uh, looking south and the two stadiums that's the great wheel there and you can see the ferry leaving I'm being a straight-up tour guide today <laughs> Uh, yeah, lots of construction. This used to be, wow, this is a trip. This used to be the um, Alaskan Viaduct. It used to be a, a freeway. They tore it down and they're totally going to revamp this, this area. And you can sort of see what things might look like once this... Uh, once this place is complete. Yeah. All right. There's the view from here. Well, I'm happy this part is um is open because it was it was closed for a while too, and it's just nice to when you come here to be able to come out and check out the views and such. And uh, yeah, hopefully the upper part there will will open again soon. Great place to chill, drink your coffee, eat your lunch while uh, catching some sun. All right, we're gonna go back up. And I'm going to Continue walking north here. Uh, as you can see, many of these uh, many of these stalls are vacant. This way. Oh, how are you? <laughs> That's the original Starbucks there. And you can see people lined up. People are waiting to buy that Starbucks coffee. And uh, yeah, experience what Seattle's uh, very first Starbucks coffee shop is all about. So I'm going to walk this way a little bit just to show you that park there I'm actually not gonna cross the street and go to that park because um, much of it is closed so I'll show you the park from here and uh, yeah, it's a good place to take photos but ever since they they added the new the new um, view patio or deck there that's that's been the more popular place to go and take photos and hang out, in my opinion. They're both nice. You know, you have old school and new school. So, yeah. Okay, we're going to now cross the road. Yeah, usually to my left here, this area, whole area here would be filled with vendors selling arts and crafts and just uh, trinkets and things. All right, 
head south again and on this side of the street Oh, I love this restaurant and oh my goodness, they're open. Are they open? Are they, you guys open? Awesome. All right, I'm gonna come back for lunch, man. Wow, okay, that's awesome. They were not open the last time I was here. Yeah. That's great. I could go through there that way or go up and out through post alley if I go that way there but I am going to go back out instead because you know why well because you can't come to Pike Place Market and not experience what the original Starbucks is all about oh so yeah here we are Starbucks. So it looks like inside, just taking a quick peek. Oh, hello. And uh, back out again. Whew. Okay. I'm gonna walk around a little bit more. I'm gonna show you Post Alley. And here, Hiroshki here is a highly popular, highly popular place. Some of the longest lines at the market, but today, I mean, today there's a line, but it's not the longest line. Okay. <laughs> Hope you're not getting dizzy if you've been following and watching along. This is somewhat of a fast pace walk. Okay. I'll do like um, slower pace walks from time to time, like, like we call it slow walk Sunday when I go out and walk around on Sunday. So we're at this intersection here and um, we're gonna take a left and take us through Post Alley. Stewart and Pike Place is where we're at. And we're gonna go up. Take a right here. And we're gonna take a right and go through Post Alley. All right. To the left is downtown Seattle, Westlake. To the right is Puget Sound and we're gonna go straight after these cars pass. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and pass now. Looks safe enough. Oh, there's a piano man. He's back. Piano man's back. That's great. All right, Post Alley. It's a really good chowder house here. It's called Pike Place Chowder. And award-winning chowder. Mm. 
Here it is. Usually this place here would just be like be packed, but um Yeah. It's a little different today. Alright. Yeah. Go through here. And show you some more food and produce. <laughs> Actually walk through here, show you what it's like inside. It is lunchtime at Pike Place Market. And I have made a mental note of all the places I might get lunch at. This is one of them. <laughs> this is a wonderful place for lunch if you like seafood. Yeah. Jack's Fish Spot and Crab Pot. Yeah. Great place. All right. So what do you think so far? So let's um, hold off on that, we'll come back to that. What do you think of Pike Place Market? What's tourism looking like? I mean, there's more to Seattle than Pike Place Market. But, uh, you know, this is quite possibly, I mean officially I think it's the most popular uh, tourist destination in Seattle. For Washington State, the number one tourist destination is Snoqualmie Falls unless that has changed or I'm just I'm just wrong <laughs> there's potential for that and I'm gonna take a trip out there soon Snoqualmie Falls it's nice to see the waterfall there actually so yeah it's uh, lunchtime 12 minutes till 12 close to noon and I'm going to sign off here and say thank you for walking with me and um, watching my video and if you've not subscribed to my channel please do and I'll see everyone later bye